It's good to have you with us here on RT today. A mass hunger strike by Palestinian prisoners over their detention without charge and treatment by Israel is increasing unrest all across the West Bank. Uh, over 1,500 detainees have been refusing food for almost a month as their supporters clash with Israeli forces almost daily outside. Uh, youth is at the forefront of the protests, being met with a brutal response from soldiers. RT's Paula Slear reports. The scenes are all too familiar. Children throwing stones, soldiers brandishing rifles. Major confusion. Very often it's very difficult for the army to determine who throws stones, but a message has to be sent to the local population that that won't be tolerated. And the message is delivered brutally. These children were playing in a side street in East Jerusalem when undercover Israeli soldiers attacked them and forced them into their vehicle. <laughs> He caught me by the neck and started choking me. He dragged me to the car and threw me inside. I told them my eye was hurting me, but they said it's not their problem. A report issued by Defence for Children International found that in most cases, children are arrested in the middle of the night. They were blindfolded, their hands are tied, and they're taken in a military vehicle to an interrogation centre. By the time a child arrives here at Orfair Prison, he will have been detained for up to eight days. In the end, because of pressure, almost all plead guilty. But it's far from clear they really are. They told me the best way to get out is to confess. They said they had four soldiers' testimonies, and each testimony is one month in prison. So I confessed. I eventually said I did it. But the truth, says Ibrahim, is that he was at his grandparents' house for the festival of Eid. There had been clashes between the army and Palestinian youths and the soldiers had started going from house to house, rounding up youngsters. They wanted to take anyone. They didn't care who. I told them I wasn't throwing stones, but they kept hitting me and saying, we know it was you. Aside from the arrests and illegal detentions, in the last decade, Israeli forces have killed almost one and a half thousand Palestinian children. But the IDF justifies its actions by saying many of them are used by adults as pawns. One incident that's been publicized a lot was when a 14-year-old Palestinian boy was caught at a checkpoint with a suicide belt attached to him. Since June 1967, more than three quarters of a million Palestinian men, women and children have been through the Israeli military courts. A statistic that underscores the perpetual Palestinian search for justice. Paulus Lear RT, Katana Village.